We've known for quite a few years that Cyberpunk 2077 will include character customization, and right off the back, you can decide what type of character that you would like. But recently, Cyberpunk have been pushing out gameplay demos to certain content creators, to certain people, so that they can actually playtest the game and also start hyping up the community. Now we're really starting to understand how in depth the character customization goes and also the upgrades you have during the game. If you do want to see me, streaming this game live the second that cyberpunk 2077 does drop in november then there is a link in the description down below which will take you over to the twitch channel right now we're currently streaming a bit of red dead online but as i said as soon as cyberpunk drops we are going to be ditching red dead online and we're going to be going straight into cyberpunk we're probably going to be playing it daily so to begin with to catch everyone up just in case you've been hidden under a rock for an incredibly long time you play as V, which can be a male or female character. You get to decide that within the character creation. One thing that you cannot change is the age. V was born on 10th December 2054, which puts V as 22 years old at the beginning of Cyberpunk 2077. The first thing that you will do when going into Cyberpunk is choose which life path that you want. You have Street Kid, Nomad, or Cool. These three options do define your character and will provide you with three different intros, but the impact that these options have on your character will last the whole game. The example that we're given is if you select Corp, you will understand corporate talk. Whereas a street kid will not understand that talk, and therefore the street kid will not have as much content as if you was to select a corp life path. But then on the other hand, street kid will understand the street, whereas corp just wouldn't. So this is already where the customization starts, picking your background, which can have everlasting effect on your playthrough. There is also some other background checks. Here is where you can start including a bit of a backstory. For this, you're given generic questions and you'll have the options for different answers. These questions include what is your childhood hero, key life events, why Night City. There's not many options, but whatever you pick here will affect the story. Going into actually customizing your character. First off, you have your body. You can change the body shape, the face shape. You can add different scars, makeup, tattoos. You can include skin mods, piercings. And for all the freaks out there, you can customize your nipples as well as your own genitalia. And all of these that I've just mentioned will have different variations of each. So you'll have a number of different scar options and number of different makeup option, number of different tattoo options, number of different skin mods, number of different piercings, number of different nipples, and number of different genitalia. And with some of these, like genitalia, because I know all the freaks out there listening to this, you want to know more, you have the option of no genitalia, penis, and vagina. But then penis and vagina is also broken down into other variations. So I know a lot of you creeps out there will be on this option for quite a long time. Then looking into V's appearance, there's a number of different ways that you can change V's appearance. This can be skin tone, eyes, eye color, nose, ears, mouth, jaw, beard, surface wiring and hairstyle. And just like the body, there's also different variations within each one of these. For all of these different options, this isn't like a slider. There's not an option where you can look at your character's arms and slide it to be very thin or slide it to be extremely big. This is not like a sim creation. Instead, these are different presets. And you just go through each one of the presets to decide which one suits your character best. Once you've decided your character's appearance, then you have the option to add attributes. These attributes also affect how you play this game. Your attributes can go into body, intelligence, reflexes, technical, or cool. And all of these unlock different playstyle options to what you want to do within Cyberpunk. So if you put attributes into body, this will allow you to carry more. Every single item that you can pick up within Cyberpunk does have a weight limit. This includes the gear that you use, as well as the clothing on your back. If it exceeds a certain weight, you will be slower as a character, or maybe you just can't even lift it. So if you add attributes to your body, it means the weight is now higher for how much you can carry. So it's up to you where you want to put your attributes. Whilst you're playing Cyberpunk 2077, so after the character customization screen at the beginning, you can still customize V. In the menu, there is a gear tab that allows you to change clothing. It seems that 
that you can change shoes, trousers, shirt, jacket, and there also appears to be another two available spaces for the head. So maybe this could be hats, maybe masks, maybe glasses. We haven't seen too much of that already, so I'm not really too sure what these two areas can be. But nevertheless, it does show that you have clothing customization within the game. And every single item of clothing within the game has different stats, which can yet again change how you play the game. You also can customize your weapon loadout. I have done a video analyzing the weapons in Cyberpunk 2077, so if you haven't seen that already and it sounds like something you'd be interested in, there is a link in the description. It does look like on the character though you are allowed to hold three different weapons which you're then allowed to switch between. And just like everything else within the game, the weapons can also be customised with its aesthetics well as also adding different weapon modifications which can then improve that weapon or completely change that weapon. We're seeing in this gear tab the items of clothing your weapon loadout does add two different stats and it gives you an overall rank. This is broken down into health, physical resistance, thermal resistance, chemical resistance and electrical resistance. Honestly, in a world where pretty much everything is electrical, as it is technology, I don't know how your character will be alive if you have electrical resistance at zero. So definitely give it some thought about your customization when choosing your gear. In addition to the gear tab, there's another tab called character. This is now where it becomes a skill tree that allows you to progress your character with attributes and perks. At the beginning of the game, you were allowed to add attributes to the different categories. As said, you had reflexes and intelligence, body, technical and cool. But as you level up whilst playing cyberpunk, you then are allowed to add attributes every rank to one of these areas. When you level up one of these stats, you also get another point attribute to upgrade, which upgrades other attributes within V. So to make sense of that, if you pick reflexes, you're then allowed to go into different reflex options. There seems to be a load of different attributes that you can go into. So far, just a handful of what we've seen is handguns, rifles, blades, hacking, two-handed, athletics, melee, engineering, sniper rifles, nerve and assassination. And I'm sure that there's going to be quite a bit more. This is all we've seen out of one screen so far. And alongside all of this, if this still wasn't enough for you, you do also have other upgrading options, which is your cyberware. Now we've already mentioned the different weapons that you can have, but cyberware does have the weapon side of things where you can have rocket launchers in your hands, but there's other sides as well. You can go to different Ripper Doctors around Night City, and they will all offer different cyberware. These upgrades can vary from common going all the way up to legendary upgrades, but some of the upgrade options include improving your operating system, your immune system upgrades, nervous system upgrades, arm upgrades, and skeleton upgrades. And there will most likely be more than just these categories, but that's what's been reported so far. And in each one of these categories, there are a number of different upgrades which you can improve. And to buy these upgrades, you will need to have a specific rank in street cred, and you would need to have the money to afford it. So there's two different currencies that you need to have. If you're looking for those legendary upgrades, it's not just enough for you to have the money. You need to have the correct street cred as well. But anyway, that is an in-depth look at some of the character customization within Cyberpunk 2077. When I first saw that 48 minute gameplay reveal two years ago, I thought it was just going to be at the beginning and maybe you can find some gear along the way which improves your street cred. But no, this goes incredibly in depth. Not as in depth as being able to select a slider for your character customization. It does have presets, but after that, once you start to improve your character, the different skill trees that are there, the levels of the skill trees, the different upgrades you have for the weapons, and also your cyberware. And then on top of that, you still have the customization options where you get to change your different items of clothing. It really does become a lot, and it does show how this game's adapting to different playstyles. If you do want to see me streaming this game live when it does come out, as said at the beginning of the video, there is a link in the description down below which will take you over to Twitch. Head over to there, drop a follow, and you'll be notified the next time I go live. As of right now, we are playing a bit of Red Dead Online, but we do have a lot of fun with it, and as soon as Cyberpunk does drop, we're going to be ditching that straight away. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.